Where do I start? Oh boy. If you've watched the trailer, I mean the only one minute trailer, you probably know why everyone's a bit upset. But to start off, Grand Theft Auto Expanded and Enhanced has been delayed to March 22. And in all honesty, that's not even why I'm upset. I know a lot of the community might be upset at that, but I'm all for developers delaying games to make them complete at launch. And by the looks of it from this trailer, there are literally bugs, like, like in the trailer. So a delay was probably needed. So let's talk about why no one, like I don't think a single person is happy with this trailer that released today. I sat up until 6.30 a.m. to watch this trailer. When I watched it, I was not gonna lie, pretty heated. And I decided it's probably not best to make a video then. I'd go to sleep and make a video when I woke up. And here I am now, still pretty mad. So throughout all of the screenshots that you're gonna see on your screen from the trailer, does this really look that enhanced from the older versions of the game? Like, sure, I get it, this is most likely an upgrade from the PS4 and Xbox One versions, but this really doesn't look any different to the PC version that's been out since 2015, which undoubtedly is why this isn't actually coming to PC. About 10 seconds into the trailer, we can see this screenshot here. We've got Franklin, Trevor, and of course Lester there, and you can see the graphics are slightly upgraded, right? Let's have a look a bit closer at Lester's back there. Yes, that is uh, two chairs, two textures bugged out in a trailer that was at a PlayStation State of Play event. I uh, don't know how this one slipped through the cracks, but it's not really inspiring much confidence in a lot of the fan base. That's followed up by Rockstar saying welcome back to Los Santos. Almost sounds like they're rubbing it in the face of everyone. And then we get another bit of text on screen saying with improved graphics. That's then followed up by it saying and enhanced gameplay. And then that followed up by saying seamless character switching. Like this is meant to be a selling point of the <laughs> oh, like this is meant to be a selling point of Grand Theft Auto V on next gen consoles. Seamless character switching. That's then followed up by them saying explosive action like no one's played GTA V before and much more. And sprinkled in throughout the trailer, we do have some nice shots of the main characters from the story. And yes, they do look slightly upgraded. They don't look like Red Dead Redemption 2 levels like everyone was hoping. This essentially just looks like the graphics from the PC version that's been out since 2015. Maybe like 10 to 20% better graphics, maybe. You might be able to convince me of that. We then get a snippet from Grand Theft Auto Online of someone walking through their casino penthouse, looking out the window and seeing a jet get blown up by Deluxos. Which, I mean, that is just not what we want to see in a trailer. I did a poll months and months ago asking people if you preferred futuristic or non-futuristic vehicles. That poll wasn't even close. So the fact that Rockstar is showing a flying car taking out a jet, and that's meant to be the selling point of Grand Theft Auto Online Expanded and Enhanced, it's just not inspiring much confidence in the community. So let's sum it all up. Like I said, I'm pretty heated about this. Like, I'm pretty, pretty mad. Last year at E3, Rockstar announced Expanded and Enhanced, and they got absolutely bodied on the like to dislike ratio. Like, that was absolutely hilarious. A lot of that is because a lot of people expected to see Grand Theft Auto 6 at E3 last year, but also just the fact that the trailer showed absolutely no footage of this game that was supposedly being remastered. But even despite that, myself and hundreds of thousands of dedicated GTA 5 and GTA Online players stuck by Rockstar, and we were saying, hey, Let's just wait till we see footage. This could actually be really good and probably will. Well, this trailer today just sort of seems like a massive spit in the face to absolutely everyone who was supporting Rockstar over the past year and a half. And while the trailer at E3 last year was probably the worst Rockstar trailer ever, this one has to be a close second. Rockstar really showed us a one minute trailer showing disappointing footage telling us that the game is delayed. All this trailer told us was there was going to be improved graphics, enhanced gameplay, <laughs> I can't even say this without laughing, bro. Seamless character transitioning. Yes, let's go. Explosive action and much more. Like, man, Rockstar trailers are meant to just absolutely blow you away and get you excited for stuff. And this just, this literally makes it seem like it is just going to be a port over to PlayStation 5. And I think that's everyone's biggest fear with this is that it's just going to be a simple graphics port across to Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. When we saw Expanded and Enhanced, we were all hoping for, of course, Red Dead Redemption 2-like graphics and actually Expanded. Right, like, Expanded is in the title there, Expanded and Enhanced. We were hoping for something like a map expansion or just some sort of expansion, 
And look, this is sort of too early to tell. We haven't really seen much. But right now, it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. Or it doesn't seem like that's in Rockstar's plans. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'm disappointed. I'm still kind of holding out hope. But, I mean, I'm not... I, my excitement level for this is now at like a 3. When it was at like a 6 or a 7 before at a 10. So it's at like a 3 now. I'm not... Really too bothered whether this game comes out now or not, in all honesty. Unless, of course, Rockstar does blow us away with an exciting trailer in the future, which I really hope is the case. Anyway, if you enjoyed, a thumbs up would be awesome. Subscribe for more stuff like this. And uh, let's just hope that this trailer isn't showing everything. Peace.